So can you guess in the comments why I have a green check mark over the guy to the right instead of the guy to the left? The guy to the left is trying to be picked. The guy to the right is a standalone, okay? So this video is in depth. I've never done this before. Getting ahead of 99% of people or everyone or companies or agencies or nobody at all. So why should you watch this video to the end? Is this a good time investment? Why you should watch is because what I'm going to be discussing with you, tactics, actionable steps, what I'm going to discuss with you can be found in this book that's 197. Why is it 197? Because it breaks down the service, what makes me unique as an agency to any other agency out there that I sell this service for $197,000. Dollars. So the book is only 197. And today I'm going to break down a few tactics for free, for free. That's why you should watch. Okay. So now don't compete, dominate. All right. So what do I mean by don't compete, dominate? A lot of you guys are competing based off of prices. You're competing based off of the services that you offer and everything like that. In my schools and in my books, I teach you how to cripple those who would be considered competition by pretty much giving away for free what they're charging for. So that's one step right there to the domination. So what is the what is the uh, definition? Dominate, having commanding influence on or exercise control over. So what do you want? You want control over your market. If you're a local business, let's say you're a dentist. You need to have control over a specific procedure that you do. When a person wants braces, who do they think about in your city? If they don't think about you, then you have a lot of work to do, okay? All right, to compete. All right, the Bible says the servant of the Lord shall not strive, but the definition of compete is strive to gain or win something. Or watch this, watch this. Remember the images from the first part? It says to take part in the contest. So the other guy, he was being chosen out of the other people, meaning like you're just on a shelf. Like, do you want to be on a shelf where people have to like, mm, I don't know, you know, maybe I go with this one. Maybe I go with that one. Or do you want to be the only one that they can choose to purchase from. Let me give you an example of domination, okay? Examples, how Terrence Crawford did Errol Spence Jr. in the last fight. Even though they got the you know rematch coming up, which I have no idea why, um, that was full domination, all right? Errol Spence usually does good, but that time Terrence Crawford dominated, meaning it was no competition. That's cool right? You don't want to compete with people. You want to walk all over them in a good way. <laughs> okay. Ethically, you want anybody that's doing what you're doing to not even be a thought when it comes to your customer or your clients. Or a, another one is how Mike Tyson did pretty much everybody in the first rounds all through the years of the 1990s. If you were alive then, or at least you know, are a fan of boxing, then you know everybody he got in the ring with that was supposed to be the next guy, the one that's going to knock him out. In the 90s, he was tearing them up. How do you do that in your market? How do you do that with your product, your book, your service? For example, the book that I'm talking to you guys about today, I'm selling that book. I sell, I sell that book. Like somebody just bought the book the other day and I haven't really done no promotion. This is the first time that I'm really publicly talking about this book. All right. Is $197 while everybody else is doing a free plus shipping old early 2000s offer. Why? Because people understand what's contained inside that book is unique. You can't find it nowhere else. The only way to get it is to buy the $197,000 service. So why wouldn't you get the book? So that is how you dominate. All right. So without any promotion, I'm literally just splashing through other people just selling their books for nine bucks or whatever. Okay. So now another example is what McDonald's does to any fast food chain that tries to outshine them. So there's Burger King that was smart. 
they position themselves in the locations that McDonald's position themselves in to get the uh, maximum amount of traffic and people coming into their burger joint and everything, but they'll always be second best because they're not unique, okay? So they can't dominate as long as they're using the exact formula as McDonald's. They'll always just be another clone. So they don't dominate. McDonald's dominates. When you think of burger and fries, I didn't say steak. I didn't say sodas and ice cream and all of that. When you think of burger and fries, you think of McDonald's. Whether you think it tastes good or not, you still think of that. All right, so now, next, don't compete collaborate now this is the icing on the freaking cake okay don't compete collaborate so we already know that to compete means to strive or gain to win or something to take part in a contest well how about we make our so-called competitors dependent on us okay how you be dependent on the food stamps every month or <laughs> right like yeah how you be dependent on that right like how do we make them drink the milk from the tit, okay? And they depend on it, okay? So, well, after we start to dominate and position ourselves as an authority in, in the market that they're in, <clears throat> we're gonna start taking up market share, meaning they'll have no choice but to take from the crumbs that we give them. But don't look at it like that. Look at it as working together to serve the market with your own products and services that you both have. So when you guys uh, uh, are out there prospecting or when you're looking to get traffic for your business and stuff like that, you're always looking for the customer themselves. But another like instant source of customers that you are overlooking is your so-called competitors. They already have clients and customers, existing databases and everything like that. If you stop looking, looking at them as competition and start looking at them as collaborators, then you can literally plug yourself into instant traffic, instant sales. What do I mean by that? So let's say that you're a plastic surgeon. I'm just using this as an example. Or, or no, no, no let, let's, let's be a little bit more familiar with you guys. So let's say that you are an AI automation agency watching this right now, okay? And all you do is you automate uh, using softwares and plugins and all of that extra stuff, right? And bots and all of that. That's cool. Guess who would need some stuff like that? Hmm, some web development clients, okay? So why don't you scrape a list of web developers, all right? Like uh, website agencies or uh, SEO agencies or uh, SMMA agencies and offer them your, uh, your services, right? So you say, hey, why don't you put my number or my opt-in form on your thank you page or in your email sequence and whoever signs up with you for web design or whoever signs up with you for SEO, they'll get a free consultation uh, or a presentation or whatever it is with me for automation, boom. So every time that SEO agency gives a new client on top of the ones that they already have, you get a new client. Right. So if you think of all your so-called competitors, like even other AI automation agencies, let's say that's the niche that you're in. OK, maybe you really specialize in in creating like the website bots or something like that. I don't, I don't know. I'm just giving you an example. But what about, you know, maybe you don't know you're not too good at Zapier or something. Right. Like so just think of what you have that you're really good at that isn't directly clashing with what another agency or another so-called competitor might be offering, right? So even though you're still in the same industry, if you are tossing up clients for him that, uh, you know, he, you know, and he's offering them something different, right? and vice versa, then you guys have a good, nice, consistent flow while he's out there prospecting on a daily and while you're out there prospecting and running ads and doing all of that, both of you guys are exchanging leads and a lot of that stuff is coming in organically and free now just by you being on their thank you pages and their email sequences, uh, home pages, linking back and paragraphs, video might be on there, blah, blah, blah. You can also plug into their YouTube channels if you're creative, 
all of that stuff. So instead of competing, collaborate. So even like, okay, but you said dominate. This is part of domination, right? Like, oh, do you think you can do, you can take over the world by yourself as a one man army? No, you need a team behind you. So why don't you get other professionals that might even be better than you on your team? working for you. You put the other agencies to work. They're generating leads for you. They might be running Facebook ads. So let's say they run a Facebook ad and it costs them a hundred bucks to get a consultation, right? Okay. A consultation for uh, a face, you know, SMMA. Okay. And on that, uh, after that person books that consultation, it says it, it redirects them to your opt-in form as well. All right, you are confirmed to speak with Eddie SMMA agency at 3 p.m. tomorrow. On top of that, if you opt in here, you'll get another free consultation that will allow us within uh, two days to automate your entire process and, and onboarding for your clients and blah, blah, blah. Boom. Like So every time they get a lead, you get a lead. Is perfect, right? So you don't want to compete, you want to collaborate. So let me give you some examples, right? So one example would be how Sprint, how Sprint, right here, we got Sprint, allowed Boost Mobile to use their towers. Boost Mobile was, you know, young. Boost Mobile was a brand new company, but they were able to get like fast uh, customers, they were able to get fast data and all of that. So they made a deal with Sprint. Like, yo, if you allow us to use your towers, it's pretty much the same deal that Cricket did with AT&T. If you allow us to use your towers until we can afford to get our own, we'll give you, we'll split revenue with you and we'll allow you uh, to cross promote with like the customer data and all of that extra stuff. So it's a win-win, right? So if you create that type of you know, a uh, collaboration and win-win situation, then you don't even have to look at them as competitors. I love when I see other people in the same space as me, because I know that if I approach differently, they are another source of potential customers for me, right? Okay, so another example would be uh, um, how YouTube <laughs> allows creators to broadcast for free in exchange for them selling ad space to companies. So what do I mean by that? Okay. Well, YouTube, um, <laughs> besides, um, besides like, you know, premium, which is kind of new, YouTube doesn't really have a product. So without creators, YouTube can't make money. So the whole business model is to get a million people creating free YouTube accounts and uploading consistently. Then they can then take those metrics and, and analytics and traffic to businesses and say, look, look how many people are logging in on YouTube every single month. You can target people in your area. You can target people doing all of this, blah, blah, blah. And only for this amount. So my point is, without you creating profiles and videos on YouTube, like without YouTube collaborating with you, even though they seem like big boss, if they couldn't collaborate with you, they would have no ad space to sell to these businesses and corporations, meaning they would be broke. It would just be an empty platform, right? Okay, so that is collaboration. And that in turn allows... YouTube to dominate the video space because they have more account holders than all of the other ones, Vivo and all of these guys, Vimeo. So since they collaborate with you, the creator, it allows them to actually dominate. So now, instead of you getting the 200K service for the market monopoly on the site, guys, Instead of you getting that, you want to go ahead and go to the site profitpositioningagency.com and get the book version. It comes with the book, which is the ebook, and it comes with the audio book, right? So this will allow you to know some of the secrets of how I'm able to charge so much. Instead of you getting a million customers or clients or whatever, what if you had one client that was worth six figures per month for you, right? And when you can plug in systems and offers how I have them in this book right here, then you'll be able to do that type of stuff instead of just getting people for $500 a month, a thousand bucks a month. 
which is super difficult work still. And that's all oh, they're paying you. Trust me, I know I got experience in it. Still trying to unchain from all of that stuff now, right? You want to be able to charge something for 200K and this book. So would you trade 197 for 200K offers, right? All right, so I want you guys to go ahead and take advantage of that. Go to profitpositioningagency.com. It'll be in a first pin comment. Um, you know, enjoy the book, man, and, and take action on it. There is no cash in without action.